This will provide some clarification for our homework problem 319, which I already opted uh, or allowed you guys to opt out of. We have ammonia as common constituents in many natural waters and systems. Uh, it can react with ammonia and uh, from a water treatment plant and reacts with a disinfectant uh, hypochlorous acid and forms monochloramines in system. That's a common disinfectant used in today's and tomorrow's water drinking water treatment uh, plants. And so we write the fundamental equations. HOCl is going to yield monochloramine. And if we write this as a reaction, so we've got, uh, we're going to look at this last step. If a hypochlorous acid concentration is held constant, all right, so that's going to be quite large, whereas the other ones could change. This is where we use a pseudo first order reaction. And so this change in ammonia is equal to negative K. HOCl concentration times NH3 concentration. So I'll just put a time, this isn't a divided by. And so if we keep our HOCl constant, hypochlorous acid HOCl constant at 10 to the minus 4 molar, and we're also given a rate constant for that equal to 5.1 times 10 to the 6, not minus 6, but 6, and that's uh, liters, moles per second, calculate the time to require that. Uh, so we have here, uh, we can look at, we first we have to calculate the K prime, or pseudo first order reaction rate constant is equal to K times hypochlorous acid in this situation. So these values that we have here would get plugged into K and K prime. And we would get a K prime equal to uh, 510. And we have to make sure those units are correct uh, on there for our K prime. It should be liters moles per second. Then we can plug it into our fundamental equation for uh, calculating, uh, let's say, pseudo first order uh, reactions. And that would be. All right, so for half-life, for example, that's what we're looking at, half-life, C0 equal to C0 e to the minus k. We'll put on here prime t, all right? So we're going to take this k and put it k prime t, and we can solve for that, or we can simplify that and do our t half uh, equal to 0 0.693 divided by, let's make that k prime instead of k. And so we calculated our new, let's say our K prime, based upon that uh, other information, and we should get equal to 1.3 times 10 to the minus 3 seconds when we multiply that. So that is the correct approach for using this pseudo first order reaction rate constants. So sorry for the confusion in class, and hopefully this will help you for preparing uh, for future work using this uh, information.